Hello and welcome to the 2024 Baking Challenge. It is week number 35. And today it is a million degrees in the Midwest and the humidity is 300%. This is as good as it's gonna get. I can't decide between donuts or muffins. We are gonna combine the two with the donut muffin recipe from King Arthur. So grab your ingredients and let's bake. I apologize in advance for the audio on this video. It is storming very loudly outside. So between the thunder and the lightning and the dog that thinks it's a scaredy cat, it's gonna be a little loud in here. So this recipe is another really, really easy one, which is great because I needed super duper easy. I almost didn't get to bake this week. It's just been that crazy. So to kick it off, we are preheating our oven to 425 degrees. Make sure there's nothing in there. If you store things in your oven, it's a bad habit, but also just, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Just get in the habit of checking your oven before you turn it on. All right, next up, you are going to lightly grease a standard muffin tin or line them with silicone paper, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, this recipe makes 12 muffins. So I have my, my little sixers here. I got these muffin tins from the dollar store um, and used them for like an entire summer to make ice treats for the chickens. But now they're inside because we don't have chickens right now. And um, yeah, don't worry, they've been washed, it's fine. If you haven't made ice treats for your chickens in a hot summer, what are you even doing with your life? You just get some corn and some grubs and some herbs like mint and lemon balm and you put those in your muffin tins uh, with some, like I said, some corn. I used canned corn a lot. And then you add water and you freeze them and then you take them out to the chickens when it's super hot. Okay, that is done. I'm putting my muffin tins onto a baking sheet because it is easier to lift in and out of the oven without making a mess. In our bowl, you are going to have, boop, 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 boop. What are we gonna have here? Hold on a minute. <laughs> uh, butter, four tablespoons of butter, a fourth a cup of vegetable oil, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and a third a cup of brown sugar. That can be light brown sugar or dark brown sugar, it doesn't matter. I put my butter out in the atrium to soften because I am still without a mixer, so I have to do this by hand. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, I've got my sugar in the bowl. I'm gonna add my butter, which is soft. And I am gonna try to do this by hand. I have the hand mixer out just in case I fail. That's okay. Um, let's see here, sugars, butter, vegetable oil until smooth. Oh, one of the kitties is trying to make the doggy feel better. That's adorable. She really, really does not like storms. And we have, we've tried everything. We've tried like the thunder shirts. No matter how tight you put them on her, she will get it off and eat it. Um, <laughs> we can give her her doggy, uh, doggy drugs if we know that there's going to be a storm coming but this one popped up out of nowhere so we did not have enough warning because it takes like probably a half hour to work um yeah she's not appreciative of the cat trying to love on her she just she'd like to be left alone all right this is actually coming together fairly well i'm not going to need the mixer for this part so that's nice now we're going to add the eggs, beating to combine. I'm gonna cheat and I'm going to mix these in the bowl. It's two eggs. That just kind of gives me a little bit of a head start, so I have to work a little less. And we all know if I can save time and energy, that's what I'm gonna do. It's a very odd looking consistency once you add the eggs. Um, get all the lumps out. 
I mean, it doesn't say to do that, but I'm assuming that you should. It also did not say that the butter needed to be room temperature. Again, I'm just, I just made sure that it was because I was gonna try to do this by hand. So I'm okay with my decisions. <laughs> you have to be too. Okay, stir in the baking powder, baking soda, nutmeg, salt, and vanilla. This is a tablespoon and a half of baking powder, a fourth a tea, or I'm sorry, I said tablespoon. That's not right. That is one and one half teaspoons of baking powder, a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, one to one fourth teaspoons of nutmeg to taste. I don't, I don't know what you're gonna be tasting because there's raw egg in here. So I just did one teaspoon. Nutmeg is, it's hit or miss for me. So three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. I've got all that in my little, my little thing right there. Gonna get that mixed in. And then you're adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which in my opinion is not nearly enough. Don't love that. So I might, oops, accidentally put in a little more <laughs> than a teaspoon. Mm, how did that happen? Yes, I am using imitation vanilla. I finally went through the two large bottles of the good stuff and my store didn't have it. So I got a giant bottle of imitation and I've used it several times now and I can't taste a difference. So if you want to use the good stuff, you can use the good stuff. If you don't want to pay prices for the good stuff, use the imitation. I don't think you're gonna notice a difference. Okay, next we are going to stir the flour into the butter mixture, alternatively with our milk, okay? So it is two and two thirds cups of all-purpose flour um, and a cup of milk. I'm gonna get a spoon so I can just kind of spoon it in because I really filled my bowl quite a lot here. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of flour. Maybe a little bit more than that. Get that stirred in. And then I'll add a little bit of milk. It's a pretty batter and it does smell really good with that nutmeg. So maybe I should have added a little more. All right. I'm getting a workout, but this is doable by hand. So I like that. So I am making a mess though. So maybe I should be a little more careful. <laughs> it's a pretty batter also. You know, I like to, like to tell you when it's pretty. I will say that the recipe says that you do need to end with adding flour. So I'm gonna add the rest of my milk now. Get that all mixed up and then you end with what's left of your flour. That is important to note. I am happy to report that I was able to mix this completely by hand. I did not need to get my little electric hand mixer out. So that makes me super happy. I like, I like it when that works out. Okay. We are going to fill our muffin cups evenly. That's why I'm using a scoop and mostly full. So I'm gonna do one scoop. Yep, I think one scoop per will have it. And then I can always come back in and distribute a little bit more. It's not a terribly thick dough or batter, I guess. Um, thicker than I usually have for the the pre-packaged muffin mix that I make sometimes for the kiddo. Martha White, so good. Um, yeah, he likes the chocolate chocolate chip. And I like the fact that all I have to do is add milk, mix, and bake those suckers. These are ready to go into the oven. My oven is not ready yet. They're gonna go in for 15 to 17 minutes. Uh, they're gonna be a pale golden brown color. If you wanna use a toothpick or a cake tester, test in one of the center muffins. So there's two center muffins. Test in the middle of one of those 
toothpicks should come out clean, you'll know that they're done. You're gonna take them out and let them cool for just a couple minutes and then we'll get into what you should do after that when you're putting the topping on. So let me get these in the oven and we'll cover that. When your muffins are done, you're gonna pull them out and put them on a cooling rack. While they're cooling down, you're gonna melt three tablespoons of butter. When you can handle the muffins, you're going to either dip the muffin tops into the melted butter or you can use a pastry brush and brush the butter on and then you're gonna cover that with cinnamon sugar. You can serve them warm, you can let them cool down and serve them then. I cannot wait to try these. Hopefully it's gonna be the best donut muffin that I've ever had. Well, they smell really good. Um, they got a little weird on me. I don't know. They got strange looking. They're done though and they smell good. Uh, it smells very like the beginning of fall. So I'm excited about it. So I am making a mess out of this. That's okay. It's just what's going to happen. I'm putting the butter on and I'm really I'm really putting the butter on and then I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle around here. Um, yeah, they look so good. Well, this is where normally I would do the taste test and tell you guys all about it. And I did that I just forgot to press record first. 35 weeks and it finally happened. <laughs> I will tell you, these donut muffins are amazing. The flavor is fantastic. The texture is kind of like those old fashioned cake donuts. Totally a winner. I'm going to be making these again and I'm gonna play with the flavors just a little bit. So overall, another fantastic recipe coming from King Arthur. That wraps up another week of the baking challenge. I hope that you were able to bake along. I hope that your donut muffins turned out as amazing as mine did. And I hope that you hit the subscribe button below because I put out one of these videos every single Saturday morning. You can also head over to the Facebook page because every Wednesday, okay, lately it's been Thursdays, I will put out the name of the recipe that we'll be making that weekend and the ingredient list. That way, you can decide if you want to bake along and you have plenty of time to get your shopping done. I am going to go not eat another muffin because I did that earlier, but I'll see you next weekend.